in the bleak midwinter frosty winds may blow oh, <clears throat> just come from down that way i am heading that way that is the tree transmitter i think it's um t-mobile or ea whatever anyway today's ride i'm going out it was lovely and sunny this morning um and it's just a slight change as you can see in the cloud uh, well there's an aeroplane bus bus it's the plane bus bus it's the plane fantasy island with late mtb uh yeah it was a lovely sunny morning this morning um and as you can see we've had a dusting of snow over the weekend it was weekend of black friday today is white sunday <laughs> um yeah i'm gonna pick up a route on kimber do a bit of a reverse loop and just see what it's like i'm on the e-bike today so it's the only full suspension bike i've got on the ground is rock solid so i want my derriere to be um cushioned um all my other bikes are hard tails so without further ado let's rock and ride temperature's about zero one degrees at the moment so i'm going to be taking it easy today i nearly wore my shorts and my um knee pads but i just thought nah i ain't gonna risk it I'm freezing my boots off uh drops over here and crashing through the wilderness and i need to look after my uh botswana now this is pickers hill and the withermere I'm going to pass this guy on the right. Be right. Beautiful day for it though. I really do, do hope it doesn't snow later. There is a little cut through over there to the right I could do. Uh, I'm trying to think where it is, but I'll take the direct approach down. Hopefully the safest way. <laughs> that could have been a mischief. Okay, dropping down. I love you, full suspension. And the chain stays on. Oh, it seems a bit sharp. Oh, loudly. It's like the ground's just thawing out now. Anyway, this is down from... Down towards... Oh, splatted me... Uh, sorry, guys, I'll try and keep the lens clean. Splatted me lens. Down towards Wumban Island. We'll pick up another route. Just Cinema. riding up now. Crossing the railway trail. Well, there's a rail trail. Nice little cheeky cut through to join Common Road. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate that, thank you. Oh, don't mention it. You didn't. Right, you can go left, but we're going over the fields and the meadows. Oh, it's like being on a three-piece suite. SCS, get your comfortable bike seat before Christmas. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed my last vlog. It was when I did a bit of a silent movie. Just played some music and rode my bike up and down around Badridge, Himley and Wombin. Afternoon. And you have to know what you like. Everybody so far seems feliz, which is happy in Spanish. So back to one of my talky talky vids. So you can listen to me droning on and jibbly jabbling. Oh, here we go. <coughs> Sunday driver in the bleak midwinter. Remix. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go right down Common Road, past Downsdale School, back in the moat, cut off the main road. <coughs> oh, it's not. And I'm riding through Pearl House, and I'm going to join Wombrook, which is down there somewhere. And now there is a path. in scooch down here. Should be able to anyway. There we go. I'm going to pick up. Um, got me eyes and walking. <laughs> There's one brook. I'll pick up um, back end of Heath Mill Road and then over Enville, past Wolverhampton Airfield, 
through towards Enville Hall uh, pick up going through uh, where is it Kimber and then and then no and then and then you might remember that off uh, dude where's my car <laughs> at the drive through from there I will pick up the stew pony quarry anyway this is boring because it's just a path you need some excitement like some gnarly XC yeah Friday was uh, Friday and Saturday just still jibber jabbering was um, Storm Arwin I think it was Whoa. clean clean the cockles out of uh, my, my lungs the other night when I went out for a ride I was doing acoustic as well not on the super cheat super cheat super cheat right back the back of McCain where you get all your oven chips and jacket potatoes and everything like that so that's on Heath Mill Road in Wombin just break my way through obviously a down tree hiya yes thank you are you yeah you have you noticed everyone always says that you ask them how are you are you okay go yeah you uh yeah another tree down from uh Storm Arwin yesterday and Friday and another one I think it's going to be interesting riding today for all these uh, lovely conditions just to defoliage the bike and back over Wombrook quite uh, trickling nicely just over there towards the left is where Pedro is or was God rest your soul. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, this is a little cheeky road that takes us up onto the road towards Swindon, between Treasel and Swindon. And then I'm going to hook a right and pick up the corner of Enville and Highgate. So I'll meet you on the little flowy trail. Here we go. Back in the mouth. On the uh, <coughs> corner of Highgate and Enville. Just drop down towards Wolverhampton Airport. It is always nicer riding it this way because it's more of a descent as opposed to a, an incline if you're coming the other way. Interested to see how many trees are down as well. Most of the leaves are off the trees now as well. Cyber Monday tomorrow. I am, I must say, I am enjoying riding this Merida. E. 160 um, let me know in the comments below if you want to do like a little review of it like as in a walk oh god that was sleepy. good advice a bit of a like a walk around to the bike oh let's go this way um, so I've got electronic shifters I've got a tweaking me back wheel I think that's part of the don't think that's part of the uh, bike spec <laughs> thank you Storm Harwin um, I'm really impressed with the Shimano it's under the E7000 motor and obviously the one that the one that followed it was the E8000 hell. and the one after that which is the semi skimmed is the I think it's the EP8 but nice tidy cockpit and display just get past these people oh, thank you very much that's a lovely jacket it's very seasonal thank you it's the Christmas dog Santa's little helper oh rocks <laughs> twigs so yeah I'm really impressed with it I've had bros I've got bros on my couple of specialised I've had uh, Yamaha on the crappy air, I don't think I'd have another Lapierre overvolt. Saying that, this bike, because it's external battery, it is very similar to Nico Vullions, the French enduro rider. Oh yeah, yeah you. Uh, <laughs> with the external battery, and it's positioned so it balances the bike, allegedly. Uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with it. Suntour, never been a big fan of because they always end up on budget bikes. Uh, these are 
quite good to be honest obviously you go up through the rankings of Sun Tour then you got your Rock Shocks then you got your Fox and then you got your high spec Olins and other brands are available like Manitou and Mazochi uh, those are the only ones I can think of and if you're super super duper cheap budget get some zoom forks locker on my Spanish bike <laughs> anyway I'll come back in a moment take care quiddy and the crackle breaking the ice oh, it's weird there's no snow over here towards Enville and Bobbington yet the higher points I can see over towards Clent there is um, snow on the mountain, snow on the hill it's not really a mountain, it's a hill isn't it bit of Spanish, Sierra is mountain in Spanish and Colinas is hill or Colina for an S on the end because it's hills, it's plural Yes, back to Lee's jibber jabber videos. Been trying a few different things, like I say, recently. Um, just to keep the channel fresh. Uh, clean the lens. Uh, back to the bike, it's um, 70 newton meters. And for the age of it, which is 20. Crackle! Oh, yeah, got riding through glass. 2019 model. Um, You've got an app, you can adjust the um, settings on the three modes. I think it's Eco, Trail and Boost. Um, I'm really impressed with the little display because just little little things like, like boys and toys, it's, uh, you know, I can change the font colour. I know you can do that with the, um, what should we call it, can't you? The specialised app. I don't know what it's called, it doesn't really bother me. Yeah, you know, I was saying earlier as well, I've had loads of um, other motors. I'm just going to have a quick look up here. See if the lakes are frozen. No. No, it's not that cold. Anyway, I normally go straight across between those. But I'm going to go right today. Yeah, I've had bros on the, the, on the Specialised. Bosch on a couple of, lot like my all Bay Arise. Or by, I always say the old Bay Rise, or by a uh, FS Wild, and a couple of cube bikes I've had, etc., etc. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's like it's starting to snow a bit, like just small flakes. They did um, forecast it today, though. Whew, anyway, boring trail. Just want to see the interesting stuff, and I'm sure you don't want to hear me whittling and waffling on, so. I'll pick up Enville Hall when we get there. See you in a moment. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Well, I don't think it is personally. I'm not a very big Christmassy person. The wife is at home now, putting the trees up, loving it. We're having a mulled wine. Just on the Enville Estate. An old game of uh, Sunday football. Do not miss those. What one I have to? My battery's looking very low. Um, also reminds me of Midsummer Murders around here. Not with the big hall. I have bought a spare battery, so this battery might be on its way out. Oh look, you can see the uh, mistletoe on the tree. Wow, I believe that is a parasite. If you're allowed up here, let's go and have a little look, see. No, I better not have just seen someone. Midsummer murders in the estate office. <laughs> oh, classic. Anyway, I digress. We are heading that away and pick up some XC trails and bridleways up and down. Back in a bit. Come on, turn on. It doesn't really matter which way you ride this route. It's very undulating. So it's like you're going down one minute and you'll be going up the next. Where do we go? Bit of storm. But it wasn't bombing down here. Oh, I had to dab out. What can I get up the bank? 
got a bit of sneaky sneaky. Saved his mountain. <laughs> going past the old cave on the right there. Very dry though at the time of year. We had loads of rain on um, Friday. Uh, and then it just sort of like strange showers. It was sunny one moment and then pissing down the next. Right, I'll come back in the downhill section. Went out last weekend with Jim, my brother-in-law, and uh, actually managed to show him all of my new trails. Oh, that was close. Don't want to smash off this rear electronic mech. And uh, I think he thoroughly enjoyed it. Obviously on the e-power, because there was lots of um, climbing and descending. Like now, I think there's a downhill bit coming up in a moment. It's really narrow as well. Oh great. Oh bloody I ain't mad. Okay. Let's go around this bit. Up the bank. That way. Oh they've blocked the gap. Idiots. Doesn't do any harm. So I'm gonna have to oh I can get through that gap there. Um just that to say body temperature it's just right today for me. You know, even though I've got trousers on, I was going to wear shorts. Just squeeze through the gap and drop the saddle. It's actually just starting to snow a bit. But yeah, for you, that needs not too hot and not too cold. As long as you keep moving that way. Oh, it's day just right. Oh, that's a S chicane. We go right here, back into the woods. Let's saddle up. Nearly at Kimber Edge now. Didn't take too long to get here, about half an hour, three quarters. I think as the crow flies, it's about nine miles, 10 miles Kimber is away, but when you've ridden all XC, looping around and everything, works out it's about 11 to 12. Anyway. <clears throat> and try and tackle these hidden dangers and uh, I'll come back in a bit Clent in the distance snow capped <clears throat> and this is a little descent I'm not sure if it's the right one but we'll try it oh it's not too bad we'll go to the left here and this out there's a section down here, I've got to, I want to ride. I don't think where it is. Ah, oh, it's down here. There's a rock section, I've only ridden it once before. I think bloody hell. It's just down here, and this is the, oh shit, this is the running. <clears throat> there it is. So, I might clear all the logs away. But I have ridden this before. I'm not sure basically right out there let's take a walk down <laughs> oh my god that was heart wrenching I did it though I had to slam on the brakes straight away now which way can I ride this let's have a look I think from that direction just like go around the rocks let's see Oh yes, lovely. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh, what was it? Bloody hell. Ducking and diving. Wings and dealing. Oh. That was like a bloody roller coaster. Adrenaline tick. The only trouble is with riding down all the time, you have to go up. And this is a right techie climb up here. It's sandstone though, which makes it super grippy. Just a nice little short punchy climb. But it's, it's brilliant for riding down it. Right, I think I'm in 
top gear now knock it up into boost I should get up <clears throat> bloody hell that's the beauty of A power oh, drop it down back into A cow I think that was trial not a boost so back in a while behold Kimber Edge top of scope there is a viewing point here <clears throat> There you go. That's where I'll come from. You're right. I'm talking to my GoPro if you wonder what I'm up to. <laughs> oh, look at you. <laughs> right, this track, if I remember rightly, takes us down into Kimber. Yes, we're riding through Kimber now. Very um, festive. Time is 10 past two. Change the battery on the GoPro. There you go, Kimber's Christmas tree. The old heart, old white heart, I think it's called. The bloke just said to me, uh, what's wrong with your lip? I was like, <laughs> <laughs> fell off. I'm falling off for at least two weeks. I might put that bit in slow motion. Classic. Just shows how hardcore. You know the school I am. Anyway, we're gonna we're just leaving um, drizzly wet Kimber, and I'm gonna go and ride up through the quarry, at the street pony. So, back in a very short time. I've seen this path when I've ridden along the road, and I've always wondered where it goes. So today, I'm gonna find out. It probably just runs parallel with the road, to be honest, but. Uh, it's a bit safer because that's a blind summit. Oh dear, look. Mind you the look I'm having today. <laughs> oh look, story of my life. It's all overgrown still. Obviously not used very often. And it's dry. The bracken and ferns are still coming back with a vengeance. I'll still be here this time next year, you mother fungus. Oh well, nice protective gloves on as well. Legs protected, hands and body. Oh, this is where it brings you out. Like a little escape route. Right, we're going that way. Through the quarry. Back in the, back in the quarry. I haven't ridden here since back in August when I had my fat bike. See how much it's changed. It's still sandy, but uh, that is amazing. It's like being in the middle of a... Uh, Whistler in Canada. It's amazing. So nice. And there's the uh, big mounds of whatever. Some shit silos, I'm guessing. I don't fancy riding down there because it's the pain in the bum of getting back up. So I'm going to ride along the ridge. Here. Oh god, this is going to be fun. It's alright on the fat bike. This looks like some uh, motocross bikes have been over here. Yeah, sold the fat bike because I don't really use it, it was just sitting there. And the guy I sold it to, I think it was on Gumtree I sold it. Um, he converts them to e bikes. So it puts like a Fazua motor on and a big juicy battery. And uh, sells them on. I'm not sure if you can see, but it is snowing very slightly. Beautiful colours though. It's very like deep green in the uh, summer. It's, it's gone uh, uh, strange. It's just it's green, verde in Spanish. Mm. It's not very nice to ride on. I think I might get back on the track and come back at the uh, not the crater and the bowl in a mo. Back in a bit. Just riding along the ridge now. Not being in the sand dunes of Barmer. <laughs> oh. Mm. Now that's going to be 
interesting. <laughs> Try and straddle myself across. <sighs> you see where all the motor cross bikes go there. All down there. There was loads of signs at the gate where I climbed over on the Kidderminster Road, the A449, and it just had photos of all of the motorbikes that they'd seized this year from the quarry because obviously it's private property and uh, I'm guessing the people who own the quarry don't want anybody in here but I'm on an e-bike so I'm doing the environment some favours and I'm not damaging anything Yuck. Afternoon! Bye -bye. You're right. Little looks eh? Mm. Can't beat the smell of tropical tobacco on a Sunday afternoon. Mary J. Blige. Saying that now they make electric um, motorbikes, don't they? Not sure how successful they are. But that across the zone. Like a green line at the back of here called Gibbets Lane, and that's where we've just come from. So, I'm going to ride down now and head back towards Himley and Bagridge. So, back in a short look at the size of that tree that's fallen. Well, nobody's going to be coming along here for a while, even though it's um, blocked off. Good God, that's huge! That's where we just come from. I'm got a clue I'm gonna get past that. It's either under there or around there. So I've gone for plan B down and across through the, the brambles which have just happened to grab me. That's it. Oh great. Foot strap now. A crater of a tree. Uh, they're actually just chopping it out of the person's garden, you can probably hear. Good God, that's the problem of having big heavy bikes. <sighs> Made it, bloody hell. That was a right chore, with a foot full of uh, topsoil in there. Whew. Just dropping down now towards the canal and then Green Forge Lane. So, time to hold tight. There's a nice little bridge down here you can launch off. It is um, starting to... Oh, great, a car. Come on, I've got some good speed now. Over the ramp. Oh, great. I'm going to have to slide down now because of the... Hostia. Oh. That is unbelievable. Trail. That means you can go 4x4 XC super fast. Oh, I did a launch off that bridge back there. Tonto Cabron, Pinche Pendejo. Oh, you're going left, good job on going right. Anyway, if you were to go straight on here from back there, it takes you to the millions, which is um, a trail. Halfway between Swindon and Kimber, and I've ridden there a couple of times. Hopefully, camera's still clean. Today's vlog's going to be about, I'd say, half an hour to three quarters. I won't split it into two, I'll um, just keep it all as one. Um, I've got a last little bit of a climb out of by the navigation pub up towards the ridge. And last time I rode it with Mark, Jones, and Adam. They all ended up pushing and I rode it. Thank you, Shimano. Right, so today you watch our bloody fail. <laughs> Epic fail on the Sunday. So back in a short while for the climb of doom, aka Cod. Did it a bit. I was just um, riding along Green Forge Lane and I've found it a couple of times today. You get the Sunday drivers in the Chelsea tractors 
of big old fat men and they seem to think that the whole lane is theirs oh, my opinion of men old men fatty bum bums in uh big cars is they've got tiny little penises and they're called justin because i can get it just in <laughs> okay we are coming to the climb of doom where hopefully i won't fail nice cross here you know to go up into uh i think i use turbo and go up into the highest gear i've got one left one gear left so it's going to get really steep in a minute <clears throat> here we go the beeps mean i've got no gears left it's bloody steep climb of the i knew i would bloody it's a route you bastard right i'm going to do that again this time i know where the route is yes i'm in top gear talking to top gear it's on tonight and there's the route right, i've made it past it i am sitting down to do this should be able to lift up now stops the front end bobbing around there we go take two complete oh that's a claw and a half oh muchas gracias shimano uh, y siete Whew. <laughs> coming towards the end now oh. just dropping into swindon woods now feels like it's gone a bit milder i know the uh light's dropping because i didn't get out till one o'clock and i think it's about half three now but uh i put all the um stats in today's ride at the end um yeah because the, the ground's gone quite soft whereas if it's um very very cold or muy muy frio it stays solid <clears throat> these uh leaves are a nightmare we can just hear the rain coming down whether it's sleet I don't know no lossy like I say these are the Swindon woods I might drop off to the left and do a bit of a gnarly trail it's been a good ride though so far a fair bit of mud but not too bad and a face full of branches right down here drop it in there we go Oh, this is where I lose the trail. Where does it go? See what I mean? The leaves just hide everything. There we go. Into Swindon. Ah, and homeward bound. It'll be about 20, 25 miles today, I reckon. You all right? Obviously not. God, you're trying to be polite to people. This is like, look at you as if like you're something you've trodden in. Oh, that. Probably see it's snowing now now. <laughs> Bloody gone cold as well. Right, last climb. Little punch you want. And then I'm gonna do my POV. What we in? Three. Bang it up into one. See if I can get up here in eco. Should be able to. <clears throat> oh. Come on, mate. Go to them bloody legs. Yeah. Near Fran, near. There we go. You see, uh, my breath as well now. Oh, back to the rhythm here. Right, I'm just going to go up to the host point tree transmitter and do my POV finish. If I do that, it should stay there. Batteries took um, a bit of caning today. Been all over there, as you can probably see. It's starting to snow now. You can see it's all um hazy over towards clent um this is where i started <coughs> oh lensing oh sorry people um this is where i'll finish so basically i'll put the mileage in and the distance i've done um that's the trouble with the cold weather it does cane the battery a bit i've only used trail and um what is it boost a couple of times um 
Oh, so full of snot, excuse me. <laughs> snot dart. Um, yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, Battery took a cane. It's bloody cold. It's snowing, as you can probably see. So this might be white over by the morning. Um, I'm going to treat myself to a new app as well. Not one that cleans your lens for you. Um, so I can put more sound effects in. So thanks for uh, joining me on my journey of, uh, let's do a 360 all the way around. You can see what I can see. Do da, do da. Um, yeah, thanks to all new subscribers. Thanks for existing ones, staying with me on. <coughs> <coughs> oh, I just have another cigarette, put it out. Um, thanks for joining me on my little journey. I like to do different stuff. I'm going to go out in the week and do a night ride because I've got to work a couple of nights this week through work. So I'm going to do a night ride on Tuesday. So I shall put that on Wednesday this week, which is the 1st of December. Um, and it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I'm not a big fan. Um, oh, here's the happy people, look. There they are. Grumpy and Grumpetta. Never said hello when I passed them. Big around bar stewards. Uh, yeah, and I'm going away next weekend and I'm going to take my drone with me and do some stuff in the sky. So, don't forget to click the ding dong, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and thank you for following me and joining me and doing all the stuff with me uh, i like to keep the channel fresh and fresh as i said earlier and put loads of new stuff on so that's it uh, i'll put the stats in the miles and the distance and elevation and i've used three bars of battery because of the cold and the walkers are coming i'm not sure if you've ever seen the walking dead but they call the um, the zombies walkers so right i'm back on my bike i'm going to ride that way home about another mile so hasta pronto. Ciao.